this is what my kit consists of. I'm using this Orbit Mist um, cooling kit. Uh, I don't, I've never used one of these, so I don't really know a whole lot about the quality of it. But I'm going to go. So inside this kit um, comes with some basic directions, uh, bagger hardware, and in the hardware we've got 12 mounting clips. Um, we've got one automatic drain valve, and then it comes with six misting nozzles. I believe they're brass, and they just screw into these little T-posts. Um, and then you also have a seal, which goes on your the part you're going to be connecting to your water source, um, the silcock valve on the back of the house, or um, a rain barrel like what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, the hose itself is it's like a hard plastic. Um, I don't know, maybe it could be a PVC. I'm not sure. Um, but it's 22 feet long, it's 3 8 inch, this one's 3 8 inch, and uh, the misting section is 12 feet, so you got 10 feet um, feeding it, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Um, the end of it, you'll notice, it's got this threaded cap on it, and the reason that's there is if you decide that you want to add an extension to this, they have um, extension kits that are pretty inexpensive. So this right here is the rest of the system. Um, I'm using a, it's, it's a fairly small solar panel, um, for the application I'm going to be using it for it should work just fine. I can always upgrade to a larger solar panel in the future and then repurpose this for something else. Um, this is the uh, solar charge controller, uh, pretty basic, it's got an LCD screen. Um, you hook up your solar panel here, your battery here, and whatever is drawing your load here, which is going to be the water pump. It has these USB outputs to them, they're like 1 amp, 2 amp. Um, 5 volt output, but I, I'm not going to be using that for anything. Um, this is the water pump. It's a 12 volt water pump. Uh, it's 3 amp. And this thing, I mean, it's really not going to draw a whole lot. It's a self priming pump, which is really nice because it'll push all the air out of the line. Um, you don't have to mess with, you know, like a uh, one that you have to prime yourself. Um, but this will hook directly up to the charge controller. And then uh, this is the battery. This is a battery that I got from a friend of mine. It's brand new. It's never been used. He had it installed when he had his um, alarm system in his house installed. It was used as a backup battery. I've already checked the voltage on it. Um, it, it was good when I got it um, a couple days ago. And uh, it's just a 12 volt battery. Um, it's five amp hours. And I'm going to have to replace this, you know, um, probably at the end of the summer. But just to get the system, you know, up and going. Um, it was really nice to get one for free. I got some pretty basic 18-gauge uh, wire. And that way I can run a wire from the battery over to the charge controller and then from the solar panel down to the charge controller. And then I got a little 12-volt on-off switch that will be wiring between the pump and the, the charge controller. Um, that way I can uh, manually turn the system on and off. Eventually I'll go to an automated system where I'm going to wire in some kind of a timer um, but this right here was just to get the system installed, uh, rocking and rolling, and, and ready to go so I can start getting some seeds and stuff going in the, in the greenhouse, which, you know, it's a brand new build, so um, lots to do, lots to do. Alright, so this is the box that I built to house all the components. Um, I put a, a divider in here, that way I can have the water pump on one side and the electronics on the other side just in case I run into any kind of an issue with water leaking. Um, but the battery will sit in like that. And then I'll mount the charge controller up here on top. And I've already drilled a hole in the side here uh, for the feed line from the solar panel and to run the pump out to uh, the on-off switch. But down here on the bottom I drilled a hole, and at the top I drilled a hole, that's for the water lines. And on this pump there's an arrow that shows you the direction that the water goes in. So I'll run my wires through here, mount my pump like that, and I tried to line it up so the tube will come directly up to the pump for your input line, and then directly out of the box for my output line over to the misting system. To mount this, I'm just using some wood screws and some washers. So it looks like the hose is exactly long enough 
but where I cut it, it won't reach the water pump. So I'm going to slide the box over a little bit, and I think I'm going to be right on the money as far as getting the water pump to sit in between these two lengths of hose. So fingers crossed. Nope. I think this is a three-quarter inch diameter of the outside, not a three-quarter inch diameter of the inside because these are exactly the same size. The uh, solar panel that I got didn't come with any kind of a mounting kit, so I need to make something. That way I can attach this to the shed. So let me see what I can figure out. So this is what I came up with for the solar panel. So if I mount it in like that, it should be alright. And then this will be how I attach it to the shed. So before I put the mounting uh, bracket back on the back of this thing, I'm going to go ahead and run the wire to it. That way I'm not fighting with it up on the roof. Now this is an 18 gauge wire. So on here I've actually got a, a section for 18 gauge. Just rip it. So this is the wire for the switch, the on off switch. And this wire here is for the solar panel and then I've got another length of wire that I'm going to run from the battery to the charge controller. And so in the user manual for the charge controller, it tells you step by step which piece of equipment to hook up first. So it says connect the battery to the charge controller, then connect the solar panel, then connect whatever's going to be drawing your load. So it's battery solar panel and then pump if you're going to be using it for this application. Uh, the, the negative first. And then the positive. Now I have to hook up the um, solar panel and the battery is 12.6 volts and it's a 12 volt battery so we know that we're good. So let's go ahead and hook up the solar panel. Now I'm leaving a little extra length in here not cutting everything um, perfect length, that way I've got some uh, like a little service loop. If I ever need to come in here and change the ends, I'm not going to have to run a whole new wire. So once I hook the solar panel up, we got a solar panel icon, shows it's charging the battery and the battery is ready for the load. So right now I'm not going to worry about wiring the switch in. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the pump directly to the charge controller and then turn it on just to make sure that the entire system works. And right now I have the load side of the charge controller is turned off so when I hook this up it shouldn't do anything. So for right now I got all the electronics hooked up and I'm gonna go ahead and test it really quick. So it does work and there was some draw coming off of the battery and it went back up. Let's do it again. Okay, I don't want to burn the pump out. Um, but it dropped down to 12.0, now it's already back up to 
and then it'll charge. And like I said, I'm only going to run it for about 10, 20 minutes at a time. I'll see what kind of output I get with uh, the moisture up there. But um, for right now, I can't really go any further. Uh, this tube is not compatible with this pump, so I'm going to get some kind of an adapter to make this work, and I'm probably going to change the input line completely. Um, just due to length, just I don't want it to be tight. I don't want it, there to be any um, pull on the line. So. so it turns out this is too short, and because the inside diameter is not 3 8 um, this is not going to fit on the water pump, so I'm going to replace this. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. So the um, the connection point on the rain barrel is three quarter inch, so I'm going to use this three quarter inch to half inch piece. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this tape around it. It's plumber's tape. And then I've got this piece. It's um, half inch to five eighths. Screw these guys together. Should be good. One thing I like about YouTube is a lot of these like DIY projects, um, you know, are done by guys like myself. I'm not an electrician. I'm not a plumber. A lot of this is trial and error. Um, some people may say, you know, oh, that's overkill, and it's. I know what's happened when I've done a project and. Um, I've done it with an underkill kind of attitude and it usually ends up um, with some problems so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way make sure that I tape everything and get it as tight as I can just making sure that I got my seal in there which I do Slide my clamp over the tubing and We're committed now. Need to make sure I get that nice and flush. So now this part's the iffy part. So my idea is to slide, because the outside diameter of this is 3 eighths of an inch, and the inside diameter of this is 3 eighths of an inch, I'm just going to slide it over it, nice length, put three, two clamps on it, and clamp the other one on this side, and I think it should be good. So we'll see. So this wire right here, it's a red and black wire, it goes all the way back to the, um, the on off switch. Now I'm using the red and the black as power to the switch and power back. You actually don't ground it at the switch with the switch that I've got. <clears throat> so the way that you wire the pump up to the switch is the yellow wire is the ground wire. I run that directly to the controller in the ground port and then the power wire I actually hook it up to the black wire that's running to the switch in the off position and then the red wire that's coming from the switch is in the on position comes back to the controller so this is the black wire here connected to the switch in the off position and then this is the red wire which goes back to the pump which is connected to the on position so in the off position there's no connection inside the actual switch. Now once I flip the switch to the on position, you hear the pump kick on. Right now it's trying to suck water out from the, the barrel and it's not open, so I can only turn it on just for a second. 
but let's go ahead and give this thing a shot. So before I put these nozzles on, um, what I ended up doing was I left them all off and I primed the system to push water through it and um, to get any kind of debris from the inside of the line out. Uh, it got dark really fast, a huge storm came through, so um, I'm back out now and I just want to show you guys it actually working um, before I wrap up the video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kick it on for you and, and show you it in use. Let me move my, uh, my light real quick. <clears throat> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it and, uh, I ran into a series of challenges with it, but I, you know, I got it successfully installed. Um, if you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button, it means a lot. Um, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. You can check out the other videos that I've got and stuff that's coming up. But um, if you have any questions or comments, um, yeah, yeah, leave them. Uh, I love reading that stuff, and I love I answer. I try to answer every comment or question that I get. But uh, if you haven't seen the actual build video for the greenhouse. I'll leave the clips for, um, it's two videos, I'll leave that down below, and um, yeah, until next time.